Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. There is a popular rumor that claims pregnant women can't clean cat litter. There are also concerns about whether or not it's safe for pregnant women and cats to coexist at all. These worries stem from the possibility of contracting toxoplasmosis, a parasitic disease that can negatively impact the unborn baby. The fears surrounding this disease can become so extreme that cats are sometimes rehomed when their owners become pregnant. But as you'll soon learn, there is little truth to these rumors as long as the right precautions are taken. As a quick disclaimer, this is not medical advice, but we hope this video helps you learn more about this interesting topic. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to our channel for more cat videos. Now it's time to dispel these rumors by explaining toxoplasmosis and providing instructions on how to safely coexist with a cat while pregnant. First, what is toxoplasmosis? Toxoplasmosis is a parasitic disease that is of particular concern when contracted by pregnant women due to its potentially adverse effects on babies. It is typically associated with cats and cat litter, as it can be spread through cat feces. But what exactly is toxoplasmosis? A single-celled parasite called Toxoplasma gondii is responsible for causing and carrying the disease. Believe it or not, the parasite is very common. In fact, it's estimated that 11% of the US population aged 6 years and older have had the parasite. It is even more common in humid and tropical regions of the world. In some places, it is thought that up to 60% of the population may have contracted it. The parasite can live for extended periods of time in the body of its host. Sometimes it will even persist for the entirety of the host's lifespan. While these statistics may seem concerning, toxoplasma is nothing to be worried about in most cases. Most people who have toxoplasmosis will probably never even know. For people with healthy, functioning immune systems, symptoms will likely never present. The parasite will exist in their bodies while posing no threat to their overall health and well-being. Note that it cannot be transmitted from person to person, meaning it is not a contagious parasite. The only cases in which it can be transmitted from person to person is from mother to child during pregnancy, during blood transfusions, or organ donations. We'll explain in greater detail how humans can contract this disease shortly, but beforehand, it's important to understand how cats can get toxoplasmosis in the first place. How is toxoplasmosis contracted by cats? While toxoplasmosis can be contracted by most warm-blooded animals, including mammals and birds, cats are definitive hosts for the parasite. While in other animals, including humans, the parasite exists but cannot be spread by the host. Cats can spread the parasite through their feces. In cats that are infected with toxoplasmosis, their feces contains oocysts. Oocysts are cysts that contain the zygote of the T. gondii parasite, and they are environmentally resistant. In other words, the parasite is reproduced in the oocysts and can survive outside the body for some time. Therefore, if other animals were to consume cat feces, the parasite would spread to their bodies as well. Cats most often contract toxoplasmosis by eating raw meat of other animals that had the parasite. This means that wild cats will contract the parasite through their prey, while domestic cats can contract the parasite by eating uncooked or raw meat infected with it. Once infected, the cat will develop cysts in its tissue that contain the parasite. The parasite may exist in the cat for its entire lifespan. However, it is only within a few days or weeks of infection that the oocysts are passed in the cat's stool. This period of time is known as a shedding period, in which millions of oocysts are shed into the stool, and it may last up to three weeks. Infected stool takes some time to become contagious. The oocysts have an incubation period of one to five days, at which point they become infectious. Once infectious, the feces can remain that way for many months. After the initial shedding period passes, the feces will not be contaminated with the parasite. In the US, only about 1% of cats are actively shedding oocysts at any point in time, according to the Companion Animal Parasite Council. However, many cats have had T. gondii at some point. The American Veterinary Association says that almost 1 in 3 US cats are thought to have toxoplasmosis antibodies in their systems. Most infected cats will not present any symptoms, and the parasite will not interfere with their lives. However, for those with weaker immune systems, symptoms may appear and worsen over time if left untreated. These symptoms can include coughing, lethargy, difficulty breathing, diarrhea, blindness and eye problems, and various neurological issues. Even though immunocompromised cats have increased risks of getting sick due to toxoplasmosis, healthy cats can get sick too. Though it is rare, it is possible. If a cat is sick due to toxoplasmosis, it can be effectively treated if caught early on. While there is no vaccine available, there are treatments that can ease the symptoms. How is toxoplasmosis contracted by humans? There are several different ways in which humans can contract toxoplasmosis. As mentioned earlier, it is not contagious. The most common way in which people contract toxoplasmosis is by eating infected foods. Most frequently, it is through handling or eating raw or uncooked meat. It can also be contracted by eating raw or untreated milk, unwashed fruits and vegetables, or raw shellfish. 
Toxoplasmosis can also be contracted from the environment. If you are working closely with cats and are in close proximity to cat feces, you are at a higher risk of being exposed to the parasite. If you are also engaging in activities in close proximity to soil or sand, such as gardening, you may also be exposed to the parasite. Most people who are infected by the parasite do not show any symptoms. However, if they do become sick due to the parasite, they will likely show flu-like symptoms. There are symptoms related to vision. Vision may be blurred, reduced, or painful. Most people do not need treatment for toxoplasmosis, but there are medications available for those who do. While it is possible for humans to contract the parasite disease through cat feces, it is unlikely. You are more likely to contract the disease from other sources, like through consuming or handling uncooked meats or gardening. However, the most at-risk group of people are babies in the womb. If a person is exposed to toxoplasmosis while pregnant, they may transmit it to their unborn baby. This is known as a congenital infection. What are the effects on a baby? First, it's important to note that even in the small chance that you get toxoplasmosis while pregnant, it does not mean that your baby will automatically be infected. This is because the infection does not always spread to the baby. According to Boston Children's Hospital, the risk of the infection spreading to the baby in the first trimester is 15-20%. to 20%. However, by the third trimester, the infection has a 60% chance of passing to the baby. If a baby in the womb is infected with toxoplasmosis, the symptoms can vary in degree from asymptomatic to severe. The severity of symptoms also depends on which point in the pregnancy the mother became infected. If infected in the first trimester, when the baby is the most vulnerable, problems are more likely to be severe. If infected in the third trimester, problems are less likely to be severe. Most infected babies do not have symptoms at birth but can develop serious symptoms later in life. Loss of vision, loss of hearing, and neurological disorders are all possible results of toxoplasmosis exposure in the womb. Eye and brain damage present at birth occasionally occurs. Brain damage and neurological disorders caused by toxoplasmosis may cause developmental issues. Safety during pregnancy If you are a cat owner and become pregnant, you may be concerned about contracting toxoplasmosis from your cat. This is a valid worry to have as toxoplasmosis can be very detrimental to the health and development of your baby. However, you can have peace of mind knowing that it is very unlikely that you will contract toxoplasmosis from your cat. Also note that even if you did become infected, your baby is only at risk if you contract toxoplasmosis for the first time during pregnancy or up to three months beforehand. However, some experts recommend waiting six months after a recent infection to become pregnant. But in general, if you were infected by toxoplasmosis in the past, it's not a concern for future pregnancies. Do I need to rehome my cat? Sadly, many cats are rehomed by pregnant pet owners over fears of contracting toxoplasmosis. However, this is completely unnecessary. You do not need to part ways with your beloved cat if you become pregnant. Even if you live alone or your cat does not have any other caretakers, it is still not necessary at all. Despite popular belief, it is completely possible to safely change your cat's litter while pregnant and avoid toxoplasmosis. The bottom line is that many of these rumors surrounding pregnant women and cats are greatly exaggerated. In reality, staying safe from toxoplasmosis while pregnant is fairly simple as long as the correct precautions are taken, which we'll discuss next. How to prevent toxoplasmosis in cats If you are pregnant, a big step you can take to keep you and your baby safe is to limit the chances of your cat encountering toxoplasmosis in the first place. The best way to do this is by eliminating raw and uncooked meats from your cat's diet. While it is necessary for cats to eat a meat-based diet, you should stick to canned or dried meats rather than raw or uncooked meats. This way, your cat is extremely unlikely to contract toxoplasmosis from its food. Additionally, you should keep your cat indoors. Not only is it safer for your cat to be indoors, but your cat is significantly less likely to encounter toxoplasmosis. This is because it is very rare for indoor-only cats who do not eat raw meat to be exposed to toxoplasmosis. In fact, you're more likely to encounter the parasite from raw meat or garden rather than your cat. Overall, keeping your cat indoors and removing raw meat from its diet will help to reduce the likelihood of your cat, and therefore yourself, encountering toxoplasmosis. How to safely clean cat litter when pregnant First, if it is possible to have someone other than yourself clean your cat's litter box while you are pregnant, they should do it instead of you. While this safety measure is out of an abundance of caution, it's always best to play it safe whenever possible. However, if you are the only one that can clean your cat's litter box, there's no need to worry. Contrary to the scary rumors and misconceptions, you can safely clean your cat's litter box while pregnant if you follow the right steps. The most important precaution is sanitation. Make sure to always wear a mask and gloves when cleaning the litter. Afterwards, immediately wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. As a quick side note, every cat owner, pregnant or not, should always follow these hygienic procedures 
procedures when cleaning litter. It is also important to stay up to date with cleaning the litter box. As previously mentioned, feces takes one to five days to become infectious with the parasitic disease. So you should be cleaning the litter box at least once a day to prevent the disease from incubating long enough to become transmittable. As another side note, this should always be done by every cat owner regardless of whether or not someone in the house is pregnant. When you dispose of the old litter, make sure to use properly sealed bags. Keeping your cat's litter box freshly changed, properly disposing of old litter, and following proper hygienic procedures during and after changing the litter box are all excellent ways to keep you and your baby safe when changing a litter box. Toxoplasmosis and the risks it poses to babies can be frightening. However, as you now know, there are plenty of ways to safely care for your cat during your pregnancy. As long as you take the right sanitary precautions, you're on the right track to being both a happy parent and cat owner. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.